good morning. It's such a beautiful day in New York City. I'm outside on the terrace. Hopefully there's no ambient noise because today I want to talk about how you conduct your job search. And yeah, this is really necessary now because there are so many layoffs going on, especially in the tech sector, but in other sectors as well. So um, let's just talk about what steps you need to take. And I can go into detail on any of these components in future videos, and I have, in fact, in some past ones. So the first thing is read those job descriptions really carefully. Don't just assume, oh, I can do that and, you know, just apply, because it's going to frustrate you that you're not getting any responses to it. If your experience and skills don't match at least 75 or 80 percent of what the requirements are in the job description, don't bother applying because no one's going to call you for an interview. Secondly, write your resume as a hum in a human voice. That means you talk about yourself not in the third person but in the first person in complete sentences in the summary of your qualifications. Leverage the power of your network. Sure, everybody knows somebody who says, oh, um, you know, I heard about this opening at my company, send me your resume. Sure, that's fine. But you really can get a lot more out of LinkedIn by leveraging your second degree connections. And those are the people you don't personally know, but you know someone in common. By getting in touch with your second degree connections, if you have one at the job at the company that you're interested in applying to, get in touch with that person and that will really help you um, get your resume in front of the hiring manager. Also really important, elevate your online presence. And by that I mean when you see um, something in your LinkedIn feed that you have something to say about, you have thoughts about, leave a comment. And by that I don't mean great articles, you know, Sarah. Um, or, you know, I agree, Joe. Actually say something that starts a conversation and that most importantly lets everyone who's reading it understand that you know a lot about the topic. And that will really kind of establish your credentials. Uh, and you also will wind up, you know, connecting with other people. The other thing is to make sure you have articulated your professional brand. And remember, I'm not saying your personal brand, your professional brand. Make sure employers know through your resume and your LinkedIn profile what you represent, um, who you are, what your value proposition is. Finally, and super important, you got an interview. And that makes so many people really nervous and you start Googling all this advice about what, how to prepare for an interview. And there's nothing wrong, I mean, obviously you should prepare for the interview, you should know a lot about the company, but it's your mindset that is gonna make or break it. And I wrote an article called Zen and the Art of Interviewing and you, you know I can provide uh, a link to it in the notes, but here's what's really important about it understand that you might be a completely qualified candidate but so are at least three or four other people and sometimes it has getting rejected has nothing to do with you or your candidacy but it has everything to do with the hiring manager can only hire one person and there are several people who are equally qualified and it just might not be you so don't take it personally and keep applying for jobs where you've read the job description and you know you're qualified. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to learn more about resume writing and how it can help jumpstart your job search, head over to my website, risingstarresumes.net, and you can always reach out to me on LinkedIn. I'd love to hear from you. And while you're at it, watch some more of my videos to learn about interview tips and what should and should not be on your resume.